Hey everyone, I kind of just jumped into this video. It's a collective haul over the past couple of weeks and an estate sale that we went to today. It got cut short because we didn't have enough time to show everything and it was really hot in our storage area. So I really appreciate you for clicking on this video and I hope you enjoy. I thought it was really pretty. It's nice. It's flashed glass, you can tell that. It's got a couple nicks taken out of like the paint that's been flashed on, but it's pretty cool. Might have that on the yard sale. I don't know. This is actually a handmade piece that's also vintage. It's from Natchez, Mississippi, made by M. Mullins in 1996. And it's a magnolia. And it is beautiful. There's nothing wrong with it. It is gorgeous. This we need to look up. This is one of the pieces we got at the estate sale today. It is white with a nice green. It looks like paisley. Got some flowers on it. Borders. It, it looks like it had 22 karat gold around the rims. However, most of that's gone. But a lid, no chips, no cracks. It's in great shape. And it says on the bottom, John Maddock and Sons of England, Royal Vitreous, Seville, number 25088, or 118. There's the bottom on that. But I saw this and it didn't have any other pieces that went with it. It didn't have a teapot or anything like that. So I picked it up just on its own. All right, so the next thing I wanna share are these Andrea by Sadiq, made in Japan. So cute. Strawberry mugs. That's not one of them, that's a different strawberry mug. But I have four of these. Cute, cute, cute little strawberry mugs. I hope that this is focusing. I don't know if it will. I don't have much faith in the iPhone. And then I picked up two plates that go with it. So they're not cups and saucers. They're just a mug and like a breakfast plate. But I love them. They're really pretty. Ooh, that cut grass smells good. These I picked up from a yard sale and they are called Party Bears from the Wallace Berry and Company made in Japan. This is the number 3457. And they got little teddies having a party on them. And this one is three, four, five, five. I'm keeping those, I think. This is a trinket dish, I believe. I've seen things that are this style where it's the blue with the white cast on top, but I just thought this was so pretty and how pretty would this be in like a bougie bathroom with soap on it? I don't know if you could put soap on this, like get it wet, but I think that is a really nice piece. I think they're strawberry shortcake. I'm not sure because it says American Greeting Corporation and MCML XXX 1978. I'm not sure, but they're salt and pepper shakers. Aren't those so cute? So it's flashed this bright cherry red and then it has a nice little picture with birds and I believe cherry blossom on it so this is a beautiful vase even if it's flash glass it's still gorgeous somewhere around there then we got some really cute little bears we are in love with boyd's bears i have a whole bag here i plan on when we do our live yard sale uh sunday night from 8 p.m. till 10 p.m. I plan on doing a lot of bears for sale then. So if you like Boyd's Bears and you don't wanna pay like the $30 that people are asking for some of them on eBay, go ahead and come to our, we're doing it on YouTube like a lot of other vintage reseller people are. Doing it on YouTube. Most things are gonna be five, eight, and $12 with calculated shipping. When you tell us that you want something, everything's gonna have a number, so um, I believe a lot of our larger bears we're gonna do for $12. I have a whole bag of them, so probably these smaller bears I'm gonna do for eight. 
But this little guy is investment collectibles. And he was given to someone September 27th of 1998. So this was a gift to somebody. He's a little... Uh, that's for me. That's mine. I want that. He's in a little uh, green jack-o'-lantern sweater. He's so cute. This one is Alice B. Patchberry. That's the number 913978. And she is carrying a little a purse with a strawberry and she's got a hat with embroidered strawberries so she is all ready for summertime and strawberries that is so freaking cute I love bears here she is oh get off get off tag here she is so cute and then a little strawberry basket for Mother's Day, May 13th, 2001. So, Cindy, thank you for this longer burger basket. Does this go in here? Remove label and see warning on the bottom. This is a protector. It's called All American Strawberry Longer Burger Basket. Yeah, we're gonna have to look this up too. 86, 1986. He is so cute. Did anyone else think the ALF was cute? I like wasn't alive when ALF was going on, but I still think he was one of you viewers told me in a couple videos ago what this was called I've already forgotten but I love this I love when people put this on quilts I love this so this is mine paid $1.25 for it and I'm glad I did this is handmade it's got a nice cross stitch butterfly with some blue flower pattern on the front. It is velvet with a nice little tassel ball. These are false graph. This is a sugar and a creamer. They're quite large. These are so pretty, they're so sweet. These are gonna be on probably my Poshmark. Fudge, everything, and she's eating, and it says, chocolate is my life. That is so many, many tins. I'll start off with this one. This one is, it's got great imagery on it. This is the Flavor of America Red Man Chewing Tobacco Tin. It's got a moose and an Indian. Man, it says 1992 limited edition. We're gonna list every tin on eBay. It'll be up for auction. This is Snickers Racing Team. Uh, 1991 collectible tin and these are all in perfect condition they were collected they were up on a shelf so no rust no yuckies really great stuff old-fashioned Quaker oats it's got an oatmeal cookie recipe on the back it's got ooh, it's got recipes oh this is 1982 1982 it says cookie tin, washing instructions, clean with a damp cloth. It is not dishwasher safe, y'all. Don't put these tins in your dishwasher. We got California granola, chewy blonde brownie, strawberry nut loaf, and spicy carrot cake. So whoever buys this one, look at this that you get inside of it. Four recipes. 1982, pristine can dish. These are really cool. I love these tins. I wanted to grab all of them, but I couldn't reach up there. And Andy, I, there was people, more people coming in, so he wasn't like ready to, you know, be jumping up and stuff. This is Unlock the Magic 1992. This is an Oreo tin, a Christmas one. Then we found these prints that are framed. They were originally painted by an M. Caroselli. They're not finished or anything. They're just cute little decor. Found this, which is in a finished frame. Horses. Any horse girls out there? Here you go. There's a mommy and her baby. It's all cross-stitched. It's really nice, really cute. This is a 1992 Crayola collectible holiday tin. Includes a nostalgic tin first in its series. Exclusive Crayola teddy bear ornament and 64 box of crayons. It has the ornament still in it because it's wrapped. So the ornament is still in there from 1992. So another Crayola tin, this has 
crayons inside. Nothing special like that one. That one's got a teddy bear ornament inside. This one is wrapped as well. Never been opened. For all coffee makers, slow roasted coffee, good to the last drop. It's got a scratch right here. But everything else, it looks great. The imagery on this is really cool. Russell Stover's Surprise Tin. Best before September of 97, so I'd say it's expired. It's got the Roadrunner and Wiley e. Coyote on it. I got a Nabisco, you need a biscuit tin. This Nabisco, you need a biscuit tin, little boy in a raincoat on there. This. Saltina biscuit, just a little salty. Eat them with soup, salads, and side dishes. Nabisco, 1992. All right, everybody. So I'm going handheld to show some more stuff. And in this video, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. It was a bit chaotic, but it's 100 degrees outside and we're sitting in a shed with no electricity. It's kind of hot in there um here's an oreo ice cream sandwich tin a hershey's tin i loved all of these advertisement vintage tins they were so nice and in such great condition a taco bell dog a nestle toll house tin these are so great most of them will be on ebay but like I said, I hope everyone enjoyed this video and you're all having a wonderful day. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like this video if you like it. If you don't, that's okay too. Uh, go ahead and comment down below. What do you like? I liked everything that we got. Honestly, I loved it all. And the fact that it came from an estate sale makes it even that more special. Because you actually know the home that it came out of. So... With all that being said, please subscribe. I do plan on branching out on my YouTube brand itself, but for now, it's reselling and vintage stuff. Now, I don't condone smoking, but I know the smoking memorabilia, it gets a lot of views. People buy it up because it is cool. And this was a Coca-Cola tin. Anyways, with all that being shown and all that being said, I'll chat with you guys later. Bye.